Duke and Wake Forest, they recently battled in a down-to-wire game, and it resulted in Wake Forest defeating the powerhouse program that's currently ranked number eight in the nation. As Duke lost 83-79, to Wake Forest fans, they stormed the court as one fan unintentionally ended up hurting Duke's center, Kyle Filipowski, and ended up causing him an injury to his knee. Now, this is insane. This is crazy. But ever since this has happened, there's been a lot of talks about, oh, man, we need to do something about this storming the court thing. These guys do it in football. The fans do it in basketball. But we need to figure something out on how we can really, really prevent fans from storming the court at sporting events, especially on college campuses. You had a guy in the Big 12, the commissioner said this is this shouldn't even be tolerated across the NCAA. This guy was furious and he said it's insane that this is even happening right now. Now, and you know what I say to that? I, I say, you know what? That sounds cute. It sounds good. Everybody has to be upset right now because Duke Center got hurt just temporarily. It wasn't no major injury, thankfully. I mean, I understand the tournament is coming, so you never want to lose anybody, whether he's a star or not, come tournament time. But the thing is, it's silly to seriously try to sit here and think of ways you can prevent 1,000 people from storming the court or a, or a college field at the end of a game. It's, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. The only thing you could possibly do is boost up your security. But even if you boost up your security, it's no way in hell you're stopping 1,000 people from storming a basketball court or storming a football field. You might get a couple. You might get a few guys that you can wrestle and tackle on the ground. But best believe, it's going to be a couple of guys that make their way through and go celebrate on the middle of the field or the middle of the basketball court because it's just not going to happen. I watched... Colorado this season, they had their court storm. Obviously, Duke had their court storm, but it was a huge difference in what I seen out there. Now, I, I get it's dangerous. First and foremost, I understand, you know, for anybody um, who, who's playing the sport, whether it's basketball, volleyball, uh, whether it's uh, uh, football, whatever the case is, whenever you got fans storming the court, I understand, you know, it's dangerous for sure. You know, let, let's, let's acknowledge that because that's the, that's the truth in the situation. However, the difference I've seen between Duke and Wake Forest when Duke lost this game is that there was not much security out there to protect the players or any coaches or any star players on Duke's team. When I looked at Colorado early on in the season, as much star power as they had between Deion Sanders, Shador Sanders, Shiloh Sanders, Deion Sanders had security, Shiloh Sanders had security. Shador Sanders has security out there. There was people making sure that if anybody got touched and anybody got hurt, it damn sure wasn't the stars on the team or it wasn't any of the athletes. And I get, you know, before you push back, before you think to yourself or before someone out there later even tells you, well, you know, security is a good idea, but that costs so much money. And even these guys who, who want to boost up their private security, it costs so much money to just bring in some extra guys to watch one particular person. It does. Don't get me wrong, but there's an inexpensive way to make sure that you don't have to worry about people storming the floor. All the NCAA got to do is make sure they allow players to protect themselves by any means necessary on the floor. So let's think about it. And I'm not saying, you know, you just got to drop guys left and right. <laughs> that's, that's not at all what I'm saying. You don't need to drop guys left and right. But I'm saying if I'm playing a game, in front of thousands of people and these guys storm the floor, I should be allowed as an athlete to run and clear a path for myself to get to the locker room in a safe way. It's no reason I should not be able to push some people out my way. Nobody is a minor. We're all the same age group. We're all college students. I go to my my uh, my psycho, uh, my uh, I, I go to my math class and there's guys there. I go to my science class. Some of these same people, students are there. So what's the difference for me pushing them, clearing my own path? It's nothing illegal. It's nothing aggressive. It's just if I don't want three or four people jumping on my shoulders, slapping me in the head, pulling my jersey, I should be allowed to clear my own path. 
I should be able to allow, I should be allowed to move someone off of me. These athletes should be allowed to move players out of their way if people storm the field or storm the basketball court. That's not necessarily a bad thing. And it's not politically correct. I understand that much. But ultimately, it's not like it's NFL guys pushing minors or pushing kids out the way. These guys are literally all the same age group. They're all about 18 through 24, 25, 26 years old. Some, like it, It's all the same age group. It's not that bad. So if I'm the NCAA, if I'm trying to do this, bruh, I'm going to release a statement and I'm going to say the NCAA is not responsible for the reaction caused by flooding the court or flooding the football field. And I think that would just simply change a lot. Releasing that statement saying we're not responsible for any reaction that these guys get. You got to back the players up. And this is something where people talk about the NCAA never actually helping athletes. This is the way you can help them. I'm not saying they have to be violent and punching people, land people people out, choke slamming people. None of that stuff. We don't we don't want to see that in the NCAA. But they should be able to clear a path. Because you go to any mall, you go to any downtown space, big event in the city, big event in the suburb, and something pops off, you're going to clear a path for you and your folks that you care about. So you should be up. These athletes should be able to do that same thing, especially if they got family at the games or especially if their teammates and stuff are at the games that they care for, spend all season with, or if, even if they just want to protect them damn selves. They should be allowed to do that. I put it that way. <laughs> but anyway, look, if you agree, you disagree, you like, you dislike something I said, hey, shoot me a call. I want to hear it. Let, prove me wrong. Let me know or share an alternative perspective. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear you out. So shoot me a call. 219-413-9405 and I promise we'll play your take back on our next episode as long as you're making sense as long as you know you're somewhat respectful to people on here we're gonna play your take back but free speech on here all day that's what we like to rock with this is your platform as much as it's mine